Welcome to This War of Mine. This game is indeed set in a time of war. However, unlike most games, you're not put in the position of a soldier, or a commander, or someone powerful. Instead, you're in charge of a small group of civilians, trying to survive while war rages around them. So it presents an interesting perspective on war that is not typically explored inside of games. And I really like what I've seen of it so far. It's made by 11-Bit Studios, and it's available from various places, including Steam and GOG. I'll have links to all of that in the description. Okay, let's start a new story. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Katya met both Pavel and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter, while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavel was the star of the local football team. Katya even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. Okay, so here we go. These are our three people. Let's see if there's anything useful left here. Yep. Time is ticking quite fast, as you can see up here. And, uh, temperature okay. Looks like it might be a little bit chilly. Admittedly, I'm not very good at converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit, but... I think that's kind of cold. So basically we need to scavenge around and look for stuff and... Yeah, just try to survive. As you can see, this place is just... It's been shelled to hell. It's falling apart. Need food, medicine. So let's just look at our people and see what's going on, so... Pavel, he's a fast runner, of course he was he. Uh, given what he... Did before the war, that makes sense. Before this whole mess begun... I lived with my wife and son in the better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're okay. I'm not doing so well, as you can see. Who needs football players during war? Nobody cares about sports when every day can be their last. So I scavenge the ruins like everyone else, hoping for the best. Well, his physical prowess will definitely come in handy for something. He's a smoker, and apparently he's slightly sick as well. That's not good. <laughs> and he's a good cook, of course, since he had his own TV show. Bruno. Before the war, I used to own a restaurant. I even had my own TV show. Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was filmed cooking exquisite dish dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to last. And Katya. She has bargaining skills. Excellent. And a coffee drinker. I grew up in this city, but went abroad to study and started working as a reporter. I've been away for years. When the troubles escalated into a war, I was picked to write reports on it. I'd have volunteered anyway. I was so anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins. My family had disappeared. I've been looking for them ever since. Okay, so those are our people. Former football player, good runner. Former cook. Well, I guess we can still kind of cook, although there's not just not that much stuff to cook. He's sick, he's a smoker, she was a reporter, good at bargaining. 
And a coffee drinker. Let's start scavenging. Now, I've not really played this myself, but I did watch the first 20 or 30 minutes of a stream, so I know a little bit about what to do. I think we have to break this door down if we want to get inside. There's no point. Uh, let's go scavenge this. Oh yeah, so you can use tab to switch between characters. This is the workshop where we can build stuff, although at this moment I probably don't have much to work from. Our things. Oh, we have literally nothing. I need to scavenge before I can get some stuff. Alright, some thoughts. Our shelter is one depressingly ugly ruin. We should do something about it. We only have one chair, we lack beds, and we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete, and the condition of those who are sick or wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here is slightly better than living on the streets. And we like coffee and cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls, our shelter is not safe, and we have to be constantly on the guard. In other words, everything sucks. Alright. Let's go open that door. Ooh. Successfully scavenged something. I think that was a Bruno that I sent up there. Okay, so yeah, there's various items you can collect, and you can craft stuff with that to help you survive. Here we have some herbs. Use to make herbal medications and roll up cigarettes. Excellent. Various components, that's just kind of like generic construction material, nails, duct tape, plastic containers, things of that sort. Clean water and some wood. Just grab it all. There's nothing actually in here. Um, let's go start on that pile up there. Oh, this door's locked. Uh, Katya. Where should I send you? Oh, go check... The, yeah, go check that out. Pavel. Go check that out. We need some more supplies. Need to build some stuff. At this point, anything would be good. A radio, a bed, <laughs> even a chair. Just one chair. Oh, here we go. More herbs. Got some sugar. Nice. Electric parts. Sweet. Okay, see what I can build pretty soon. Let's go check this out. So I'm guessing this is the easy loot to get at first, right? It's the stuff inside of your domain where it's nice and safe. But you do actually get to scavenge yeah, inside of other places, not just your own place. More general supplies. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa. Food. Raw food. It's edible but would be more nutritious when cooked. Okay. I can craft a fire or stuff like that. Nice, two lockpicks. Single use. Nonetheless, quite nice. Ah, this is locked. Uh, can you break that? I'm <laughs> still picking out that pile up there. Good luck, Bruno. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Nice. More general supplies. Katya, go unlock that. See what's in there. Oh, we gotta make our way through the pile first. Alright, you do that. Uh, Katya, let's see what we can craft. Yeah, it takes them a long time to get through the piles of rubble. Ooh, Bruno's about to get through this one. Hold on, Katya. What is in here? More food. Nice. Alright, start on that pile. Oh wait, you have to lockpick this first, don't you? Alright, we have two lockpicks. Let's use one here. I think we already used the other one there, right? I think so. Five PM, okay, it's gonna be getting dark soon. 
What is this one? Oh, that's to improve the workshop. Uh, which I actually have enough stuff to do. But I should probably actually make stuff before I bother improving it. So hold on. What can I make? Looks like almost everything. It's the only one that's grayed out. Alright. What do I want to start with? What's the most important? I would say... Probably food. Yeah, I need something to cook the food. <laughs> Moonshine still. Nice. Rainwater collector. Cool. Might be wise to build a couple of them. Indeed. Filter. Oh, you need to build build a filter to purify the rainwater. Or distill alcohol. That's really cool. Can make fuel. Alright, so I should probably actually make the stove and then I can worry about fueling it later. It's as simple as they get. Just burn some fuel made up of wood, books, or components and use some water to cook a meal more nutritious than raw food. And use some water, so I need to combine them the food with water. Not sure why I would have to do that, unless I'm making everything into a soup, but okay. Let's go ahead and make that. Oh, right. You have to, uh, decide where you want it. Where do I want to cook food? Well, Bruno's definitely going to be the cook, since he is actually a cook. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it here. Get him through the pile. What's everybody else up to? Get through the pile? Okay. Almost got it, Pavel. Oh, no, I haven't used up the last lockpick. Yeah, I'm going to when I do this. Oh, there we go. Can cook food now. If it's locked, it probably has something good. <gasps> A book! Yes! A good book is uplifting. The more we have, the better. If times are hard... We can make them into fuel for our heater or stove. God, I hope it doesn't come to that. Alright, if I'm not sure what to do with people, I should probably send them over to clearing rubble. Uh, let's have Katia make something else. So now I can make food. Oh, we just switched to nighttime. Okay. Yeah, so nighttime is when we go out to scavenge. And I get to choose who I want to do what. Alright, we can see everybody's storage space. It looks like Bruno is, doesn't have very good storage space. Maybe because he's sick? Yeah, I'm not going to send Bruno out. I mean, for one, he's sick, and also he's a cook. I, I, I should send the fast runner out to scavenge. Not a slightly sick cook. So why don't you sleep? Pavel's the runner, so he's going to scavenge, and Katya will guard. Yeah. That sounds good. Alright, this is our shelter. So we get to choose from one of three places. So I guess it depends on what you want. It's a trade-off, and I guess some of these places are probably more dangerous than others. They say some people still live there, against all odds. They must have some supplies stocked, like canned food and possibly bandages or medicine. But they don't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. Okay. Yeah, let's not resort to stealing yet. Let's go somewhere abandoned. This place is closest, let's go here. A family barricaded themselves in this house, but despite their efforts, looters got inside. It's been abandoned ever since. Might find some useful things that looters overlooked or left behind. Some food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of lots of weapons. Ooh. Lots of parts. 
All right, let's go. Okay, so I get to choose what I want to take with me. We'll use the equipment during attack. Well, I don't actually have any weapons. So there's probably no point in me taking anything. Yeah, I might as well just leave my, my pack completely open for looting. Here we go. The looters must have left in a hurry. There's still a lot of stuff left. Sweet. By the way, I freaking love the art style of this game. It looks so good. It's got this sort of brush strokey, well, not brush stroke, kind of like stencil, this sort of stencily look over a lot of things. Not everything, though, but it's only like some of the stuff more in the background. It's really cool looking, though. I mean, it is a dark and grim and kind of almost apocalyptic looking game, but it has a very unique art style. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that is just beautiful, like that. Hell, I'd love like a, a framed painting of this scene right here. It's beautiful. I'm wasting time. Time, time is passing, isn't it? It is. Okay. Let's get to work. Shell casings. Oh, empty shell casings. Oh, but we can make firearm ammo. Nice. Let's grab everything. I'll dump something if I need to make more room. Looks like I get to choose my weapon. Oh god, so there actually is combat. I hope it doesn't come to that. Of course, I only have fists at the moment. I mean, given that he's such a fast runner, I suppose he could probably just run away. Oh, there's combat and scavenging mode. Okay, gotcha. Whoa, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so if you double-click, you sprint. Which, as you can see from these little, like, waves, it looks like that would alert enemies. So you can maybe sneak around them if you don't run. That's cool. Oh, look at that. That vision cone. That's revealed down here. That looks so cool. Seems abandoned. Let's check out the basement first. Yeah, it's gonna take everything. Hopefully I can build myself a bigger backpack or something. Hmm. A lot of wood. That's gonna take up a lot of room, though. Yeah, wood is... is heavy. I'll take it for now, though. Whoa. There's somebody here, I think. I think that's what those red things were. I think those are the sounds of, like, footsteps. Alright, I don't think I need any more wood. Pretty full. Hmm. Shit. There's someone here. I guess a, a good question is, are they dangerous? Would they care that I'm here? Don't know. Coffee. Some of us drink coffee to find strength in order to survive another day. Its limited availability in wartime makes it a valuable commodity. Homegrown tobacco. Roll up cigarettes. Hmm. <laughs> Made from herbs, it reeks. It reeks acrid, bitter smoke. A fertilizer. We can use as fertilizer in our garden to grow herbs or vegetables, or as bait in a trap for small animals. Wow. Okay, there's a lot you could do. This is in depth. Weapon parts. All right, I need to dump some of this. Some of this wood. Let's get some of the more specialty items. Weapon parts, yes. Oh, whoops. Coffee. Maybe I should dump all the wood. 
Now, I'll dump some of the components. Quality roll-up. I'm not sure how important those kind of luxury items are, like coffee and tobacco. I mean, obviously it's good for us, but... I mean, <laughs> well, tobacco isn't really good for you, but, you know, it's good for us mentally. But how much does that matter? I mean, it's important to keep your spirits up. But what actually happens if you don't? I wonder. This is a pretty good haul, and I really can't hold any more. I wish I had two people with me. But if I had two people, then the last person would either have to be on guard and not sleep, or... Sleep and have no guard. Alright, well, I have the fertilizer and the weapon parts and stuff. I think we're pretty good. Maybe. Don't have any food, though. But we have food back at home. That's fine. Yeah. I think I should just leave. I just don't have any more room. Can I get a gl oh, I can't get a glimpse of whoever's there. Look at that. The vision cone just doesn't quite reach. I want to know who's there, but it's not where... Oh. Oh. Oh, they're going upstairs. It's like, yes, yes, go upstairs. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Uh... Alright, well, we need to be back before the sun rises, and I don't know if it takes time to get back. I mean, obviously in real life it would, but, you know, in terms of the game, do I need to, like, leave, bef like, hours before it gets light? I don't know, but I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute, what's this? Can I peek through? Ah! Wait a minute, it's a rat. just a rat. <laughs> okay. Won't budge. Alright, it's only 2 a.m. We can go check for something else. Standard stuff. Actually, wait a minute, can I stack more? Electrical? Yes. Okay. Is it a painting? Family photo of parents and two daughters. Good thing the girls don't resemble their father. He looks like a bear. <laughs> Alright, any food in the fridge? I doubt it. That'd be the first place looters would look, right? Oh! My god, okay. Wow. Wait, who, who stores sugar in the fridge? What a freaking weirdo. Vegetables, herbs, raw food. I should probably take this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this brings up the question, what's more important? Crafting material? Weapons? Food? Drop some of the wood. Yeah. Let's get the raw food. We'll cook it up. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna drop some more of these, actually. I want some water, too. Clean water. Ooh, I can fit all of it. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Pavel is back. Day two. Hello. Look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring, uh, bring so much every night. 
This night was calm. Pavel has been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Yeah, it's some really good stuff. Alright. Six in the morning. Let's see, how's everybody doing? Katya is hungry and tired. Well, she didn't sleep, so I suppose that makes sense. Bruno slept poorly and is hungry and is still slightly sick. And Pavel is hungry and tired. Wonderful. Yeah, I suppose I can't send everybody out to scavenge every night. I mean, they need to freaking sleep. Alright, we need to eat. So... Bruno, since you're the cook, I know you're sick. I'm sorry, but you need to cook. Alright, so how's this gonna work? Do I need to... Like, this is my stock of food. If I click this, is he just gonna eat it? He probably will. Let's see what this does. I think that's to upgrade the stove. Yeah, improved stove. Which, I actually have the stuff to make. However, that would take most of my components. I don't think it's worth it. No, alright. Let's see... Yeah, it takes three waters and one food. Just need some fuel. What shall we make it from? Wood, random parts, or books? Definitely not books. Simple cooked meal, more nutritious and tastier than raw food. It gets even better and more filling with vegetables. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any. Or do I? Did I get some? I don't think so. I think I just took a bunch more raw meat, right? Or raw food. Looks like meat. Anyway, uh, let's just make it from wood. Let's make three. I'm assuming it's going to take one meal for everybody, so... go. That is... Wow. I hope I only need to eat once every day, because that's a lot of supplies. Alright, Bruno, do your magic. Just need to figure out how to actually eat. Okay, there we go. So he's gonna eat one, right? Should go from hungry to... Not hungry anymore. Okay. Alright. Get some chow, everybody. Go have a seat, Bruno. You did a good job. Nice, nice. Katya, go ahead and eat. Nice, he's not hungry anymore. Let's see if I can break that down. Right, Bruno, let's see what we can go craft. Simple heater, uh, what's the temperature? 16 centigrade, that's actually pretty cold. A chair. It's better to sit on a chair than on the floor. We should build it to make this place more like home. It will make us feel better in these tough times. I wonder what it actually does, though. Maybe it makes you get tired slower if you stay on a chair? I don't know. We should probably make a freaking bed. Otherwise, everybody's gonna be tired and go crazy. Rainwater collector might be important, though. A lot of supplies, though. Let's make a bed. Let's put it down here. Scavenge a bit more. 
Uh, start working on that pile. Actually, no, work on this one. Nicely done, Pavel. Oh, this door's locked. Oh, there's a lock up here, too. Damn it. Well, in that case, try this one. Okay, well, at least one person gets a good night's sleep. Okay, so now I could... Now that I have a bed, I can make people sleep during the day, right? Not just at night. Alright, well, Bruno's sick, so why don't you go, go to sleep? There we go. Could really use a shovel. Yeah, if I could make a shovel, I could get through those faster. Don't know what supplies I'd need for that, though. Alright. That's locked. Is there anywhere else I can explore? Fuck the war! Eh, what if I go out the front door? That's locked. Actually, can two people work on the same spot? For double the speed? Tired. Oh, he's not tired anymore. Just slightly sick. Recovering. Okay, so if he sleeps long enough, he'll get better. I don't necessarily need medicine, I guess. Alright, we'll sleep tight, Bruno. As soon as he's recovered, I think the others need to sleep. Shit, it's almost nighttime. It's seven. It's almost eight p.m. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um. Sleep in bed one of one. Okay, come on. You could fit multiple people on that bed. People hud huddle together all the time. Come on. You only need one bed. Probably wouldn't be a very good night's sleep, though. You know, jackass behind you snoring. Person in front. Wiggling around, unable to get comfortable. Be bad to be the filling in that bed sandwich. Supermarket? Hmm. Sounds... Disturbingly, potentially full of other people. I mean, it seems like that would be the first place to be looted, right? Because everybody would think, where do you get food? A supermarket. Located in the area remaining under military control, but people are still trying to scavenge it for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best not to get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A crowbar could come in handy. Okay, that... Yeah, I'm not going there. Danger. Nope. Before, you know, I don't even have... I don't have a crowbar, I don't have a shovel, I don't have a weapon. No. No, no, no. Okay, who are we gonna send out? Bruno's still sick, so yeah, he's gonna sleep. We gotta keep someone on guard. Otherwise, people might steal our stuff. We gotta have one person scavenge. Alright, it's gonna be Pavel again. He's a fast runner. Then again, I mean, I'm thinking about Katya. And her bargaining skills. Does that mean if she meets somebody, she's would be better able to bargain her way out of a tight spot or something? Or maybe that's just good for trading. I don't know. Eh, let's go with Pavla. Uh, Pavel. <laughs> Pavla. Gonna sleep. Katya. I guess Katya on guard again? We gotta have someone on guard. Yeah. Okay. So, now where? I could just go back to the abandoned cottage. I mean, that was... There's still plenty of stuff left there. Including food and... I guess not any water, necessarily, but... Definitely, definitely plenty of food. 
19%, I guess that's 19% looted. Shelled school. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. Nah, let's go back to the abandoned cottage. No point in taking anything, I don't have any weapons. Should try to brew coffee for Katya. She's the one that drank coffee, right? Alright, let's go. Alright. Now it is a different day. There could be people in he in here. So I should be careful. There probably isn't anyone, but I should be careful. Okay, the rat's gone. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh. Okay, is that the rat upstairs? Could be. Could be a person. Let's loot right now. Oh yeah, I already read that. Let's grab the rest of the food. Vegetables, herbs. Yeah, let's just grab it all. Gunpowder. Okay, so I have some shells, I have some gunpowder, just needed, what, like pellets or something? Let's grab as much as I can, dump some stuff if I don't need it later. It's a pile of rubble, isn't it? It's gonna take- ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what that is. Go down, just in case it comes down the stairs. Actually, I saw the stairs as I was going down, and I didn't see anything. It's probably the rat again. <laughs> it's just the rat again. Could probably catch it for food somehow. A note that says, On the first day, they robbed us. Two days later, they murdered our girls. I shot every one of them. But I don't want to use the gun anymore. It's broken and buried in the backyard. The next part looks shaky. If you're reading this, don't look for me. Shit. broken and buried in the backyard. that would be back there, so I need to clear the rubble if I want to get to it, but I don't have a shovel. Can I dig with my hands? Let's try to dig this rubble out. See if I can get to the backyard. Run to it! Yeah, it's midnight. I should have enough time to do this and get to the backyard. I really need to make a shovel. And a crowbar, too. I need to be able to force my way into doors. Come on, Pavel. The rat's coming. It's coming for you. I'm just kidding. The only thing coming for you is a slow death from hunger and or disease.
Man, the art just really is great. They just heard a distant gunshot. Oh. That's not even a door. Well, wait, in that case, how do you get to the backyard? For some reason, I thought that was a door. Is this the backyard? Maybe that is the back. I don't know, I thought it was the front. No, it's gotta be the front. There, There's no door. I, this would be the backyard, but... Can I break down the wall? I don't get it. Hopefully it doesn't make him more tired to be running. No, oh, yeah, I guess this is the backyard. But then, there's no front door? This house has no front door? I don't get it. Broken pistol. Just missing a few parts. <laughs> there's weapon parts and there's a broken pistol. Alright, we need to take that. Uh, you know what, let's... Let's not give up all these... parts. Let's dump some of the sugar. I don't think I need this much sugar. Yeah, broken pistol, weapon parts, gunpowder, shells... Maybe we can make something to actually defend ourselves with. Alright. That was a damn good night scavenging. Good haul. Food, weapons, supplies. I found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. Alright, how's everybody doing? Okay, very tired. Yeah, they need to sleep. She's hungry and very tired. Bruno is... Well, he's still sleeping, so... <laughs> he's still recovering. I guess I should probably leave him in bed. Not sure. But, um... Anyway, I think I'll end it here. Let's... I don't want the time to keep passing, so let's actually... I guess... I, yeah, there we go. Pause it. Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode here. I think three or four days, however long that was. How, how long is that? Day three. Yeah, so it's been two days, and already I'm starting to get a taste of... the... the heavy decisions I have to make. Do you have somebody on guard? Do you go to sleep? Do you try to find food? You know, do you sleep and starve? Do you eat but you don't sleep? Some hard decisions so far, and I think they're probably only going to get harder. Especially when we meet other people. But so far, I'm really enjoying this. This is really good. This is really good. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.